Quilters are a generous bunch that will make a quilt to mark an event, to soothe an illness, to express art. We come together as a community in times of need, always looking for a reason to give a gift of warmth. Quilters are not sewers, we are creators. We are givers and even artists. We love the process, the legacy, and the accomplishment, but mostly we love the story. Every quilt has one. My name is Jean Patterson and I live here in Ephrata. I've been quilting for quite a while and mostly working with my mom and some other friends. And this quilt behind me I brought today because it's special to me for several reasons. The first reason is why I made it. And I made this quilt as a celebration of my marriage. And that may sound kind of odd for a person that my age that's celebrating a marriage, but I was widowed for about seven years before I met my husband, Leroy. And it's kind of a miracle how that happened. Maybe like a Hallmark movie for old people, um, except we didn't have to rescue a town or anything like that. But anyway, um, we've been married. We just celebrated our fifth anniversary and I wanted to make this quilt um, as a celebration of that marriage. And I made it several years ago. So that's the first reason that it's special to me. The second reason that's special to me is that my good friend, Carolyn Hutchinson, created this pattern. This is the Jelly Roll Dresden pattern. She created it and also um, gave some lessons here before she moved away. And I took one of those classes from her. Um, taking classes was really great for me because um, this had some challenging things in it. I'm not really used to doing applique or mitered borders. So this was a great way for me to um, kind of have training wheels to do things like that. Plus taking a class with other people is really fun. Quilters are um, very sweet people to work with, sharing tips and tools and just general encouragement. Um, so that made it very special to me. Now I'd like to talk about the back of the quilt. So when I did this quilt, I had no idea how I wanted to quilt it. And so I actually folded it up and put it in a closet for a few months, waiting for inspiration to strike. Um, my husband and I ended up taking a trip to Montana and he took us on this little diverted route to a town called Phillipsburg. Phillipsburg is a really cool little town because it has this wonderful chocolate shop. So he wanted to take me to this chocolate shop. And uh, lo and behold, in this cute little town across the street from the chocolate shop was a quilt shop. And this quilt shop, just like the Fabric Patch, was owned by a mother and daughter duo. And when I was there in this cute little shop, I looked at all the quilts that were hanging up on the wall and one of them had a quilting on it, quilting on it that just really struck my fancy. And I thought that would work for some of the irregular shapes I need to quilt around uh, for this design. And so I, I told her that I really liked it and she was very generous and she said, go ahead, take a picture. And so I took a picture of it and not long afterwards, I went ahead and quilted this. So sometimes um, I actually turn this quilt upside down because it looks kind of like a whole cloth quilt pattern because I followed the borders on the front. Um, but anyway, I was happy with the way it turned out front and back. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.